hello everyone welcome back hope you all are doing well dear friends today i will uh, discuss about uh, curve fitting in which the most important question as far as video examination is concerned so let's start with the basic question that is fit a straight uh, line of the form y is equal to a a plus bx for the data so data will be given over there so x is equal to minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and y is equal to 1 2 3 3 4 so it is the given data so you have to fit a straight line that is y is equal to a plus bx so in uh, this uh, particular question you have to remember only two formulas especially not uh, uh, not to remember over here i will just give you the small trick over there to remember this particular formula first of all let us uh, try to solve this particular question that is in which you have to calculate summation of y and uh, summation of x and summation of xy and summation of x square you will get by forming the table over here then the remaining part will be a and uh, sorry a and b so let us uh, what we call as find out it at the later on later on right so uh, first of all you have to uh, find out the summation of y summation of x so you will get from this type of table so write down this table in this form so x y that is minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 and y is equal to 1 2 3 3 and 4 over here now uh, you uh, according to the formula you have to calculate this uh, summation of y so you will get it here here that is you have to sum this y then you have to sum this summation of x that is summation of x you have to uh, add these terms you will get x summation of y summation of x over here now you have to calculate summation of xy that is you have to multiply these two that is xy when you multiply these two then you will get at least uh, summation of x y over here then the remaining term so this is enough to calculate in this particular uh, formula and remaining thing is n that is the number of terms it is already given 1 2 3 4 5 or the number of terms in this particular case that is n is equal to 5 over here so x y 2 into 1 that is uh, minus 2 minus 1 into 2 that is minus 2 and 0 into 3 is 0 3 into 1 is 3 4 into 2 is 8 over here now it is easy to calculate the summation of x summation of y and summation of x y over here so this is minus 2 and plus 2 get cancelled minus 1 plus 1 cancelled it becomes 0 so summation of x is equal to 0 then y 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 uh, 9 plus 4 is 13 over here so summation of y is equal to 13 right then minus 2 minus 2 uh, minus 4 minus 4 this is 8 plus 3 that is 11 11 minus 4 that is 7 over here so summation of xy you will get uh, here is uh, minus sorry 7 over here 3 uh, 11 11 minus 4 is 7 over here so right this is the uh, summation of x you are getting summation of y you are getting here summation of xy you are getting here now put these values in these particular equations so let me put down so this will become summation of y it is already here 13 is equal to n is given that is 5 a is not given we have to calculate this a plus b times b is already not given so summation of x is 0 so b into 0 it will become 13 is equal to 5 a so a will become uh, sorry 13 upon 5 over here so let's uh, make it in the decim decimals over here so later on so let me continue with the another equation that is summation of xy summation of xy is uh, 7 over here so 7 7 is equal to a a is not uh, sorry a is here 13 upon 5 and summation of x that is 0 so 13 upon 5 into 0 it will become 0 plus b times summation of x square uh, x uh, x square we have not calculate over here as we have a need of this uh, x square uh, over here so let me make another uh, column over here that is x square so minus 2 into uh, minus 2 whole square is 4 over here minus 1 whole square is 1 and this is 0 1 and 2 and 4 right so then summation of x square i have to calculate that will become 4 and 4 8 8 plus 2 that is 10 so summation of x square is equal to 10 now let me put this x uh, summation of x square is equal to 10 in this particular equation that is b into 10 over here right so let me make it in the decimal form first first of all that is 13 divided by 5 which is equal to 2.6 so a is equal to 2.6 over here then it will become 7 is equal to 10 times b so b is equal to uh, 7 upon 10 right 
7 upon 10 so that make let me make it in the decimal form so 7 upon 10 that is equal to 0 0.7 so b is equal to 0 0.7 over here then you have uh, got this a is equal to 2.6 and b is equal to 0 0.7 now put these two values in the uh, this citrate equation that is y is equal to a plus bx so let me put it over here if there is a space so sorry there is no space so let me start from here in the another page that is y is equal to a a you are getting a is uh, sorry what is the equation a plus bx so a plus bx so then y is equal to a you are already getting here is 2.6 that is 2.6 plus b b is equal to 0 0.7 times x so this is the uh, answer for this particular question that is fit a citrate crew uh, for the question sorry for the uh, sit, uh, fit a straight line of the form y is equal to a, a plus bx for the data so data is given over there so we have to calculate this a, uh, a and b value so we are getting here it as uh, y is equal to 2.6 plus 0.7x so this is the answer for this particular question is it is a seven marks question as far as video examination is concerned so it is a uh, simple concept uh, in the another video i will just discuss uh, fit a, a parabola curve over there of the form y is equal to a uh, ax plus bx square uh, plus c over there so uh, let us discuss in the another video that particular problem which is the most important one so so the trick to remember uh, this particular formula is so y is equal to a plus bx is given so now you have to make a formula that is uh, the normal equations for the curve you have to make so apply summation on both sides that will become summation of y so uh, summation will apply only on to the variables that is x and y over here so a is a constant over here so uh, uh, multiply this a with the constant number that is n into a plus b times summation of x as we are applying summation on both sides so this is the first formula right then summation of x y for that we have to just add a summation of x with this particular constant that is a a summation of x and we have to delete plus b summation of x is already here so it will become summation of x square so these are the two formulas which are useful in this particular question that is fit a straight line of the form y is equal to a plus uh, bx over there so i hope uh, you are uh, it is understood to all people all you people and it is a simple trick to rem uh, remember this to memorize this particular formula so it is not uh, you need you need not to uh, just buy this particular equation uh, so i have just told you the simple trick over here so thanks for watching my video